I am a Filipino by Carlos P. Romulo. I am a Filipino, inheritor of a glorious past, hostage to the uncertain future. As such, I must prove equal to a twofold task. The task of meeting my responsibility to the past and the task of performing my obligation to the future. I sprung from a hardy race, child many generation removed of ancient Malayan pioneers. Across the centuries, the memories come rushing back to me of brown-skinned men putting out to sea in ships that were as frail as their heart were stout. Over the sea, I see them come, borne upon the blowing wave and whistling wind, carried upon mighty swell of hope, hope in the free abundance of new land that was to be their home and their children's forever. This is the land they sought and found, every inch of shore that their eyes first set upon, every hill and mountains that beckoned to them with a green and a purple invitation, every mile rolling plain that their eyes encompass, every river and lake that promised plentiful living, and the fruitfulness of commerce is a hallowed spot to me. I am a Filipino. In my blood runs the immortal seeds of hero, seeds that flower down the centuries in deeds of courage and defiance. In my veins pulses the same hot blood that sent Lapu-Lapu to battle against the first invader of this land, that nerved Lakandula in the combat against the alien foe that drove Diego Silang and the Guhui into rebellions against the foreign oppressor. The seed I bear within me is an immortal seed. It is the mark of my manhood, the symbol of dignity as human being. Like the seed that were once buried in the tomb of Tutankhamen many thousand years ago, it shall grow and flower and bear fruit again. It is the ensign of my race and my generation is but a stage in the unending search of my people for freedom and happiness. Out of the lush green of these 7,000 isles, out of the heart stream of 16 million people, all vibrating to one song, I shall wave the mighty fabric of my pledge. Out of the song of the farmer that sunrise when they go to their field, out of the sweat and the heart-beating pioneers in Mali and Coronadal. Out of the silent endurance of stevedores at the pierce of ominous grumbling of peasant in Pampanga. Out of the first cry of babies new, newly born and the lullabies that mothers sing. Out of the crushing of gears and the whine of turbines in the factories out of the church of plowshares upturning in the earth, out of the limitless patient of teachers in the classroom and the doctors in the clinic, out of the tramp of soldiers marching, I shall make pattern of my pledge. I am Filipino to freedom and I shall not rest until freedom shall have been added into my inheritance for myself and my children and my children's children forever. I am a Filipino.